If you've ever worked in R before, you've probably seen these things. These things are known as hexagon stickers, or for short, hex stickers. In the context of R, these are logos or symbols that represent packages. So you may see a tidyverse hex sticker. That means it's a logo that represents the tidyverse package. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your very own hex sticker. So to create your hex sticker, you're going to need a few packages. You're going to need the hex sticker package, and that's going to generate our hex sticker for us. Next, you're going to need the magic package, and this is an advanced image processing package. We're only going to need one function for this, and that's for loading the images. Next, we're going to need the sys fonts package, and that's going to help us change the font on our sticker. And last but not least, we're just going to import the tidyverse for all its functionality. So this is the sticker function. It takes in a lot of different parameters. These parameters have to do with loading in the picture, changing the X and Y positions of things, changing the sizes, changing the colors, and we will be touching on most of these parameters as we create our sticker. Okay, so on to creating our first sticker. We're gonna create a sticker based on an imaginary package we have called Pineapple. Now this is a package that's going to track data and give us insights about the pineapple market. So we're going to create this package sticker based on this pineapple logo that I found off of the internet. Now since we're loading in a PNG image, we are going to have to load it in as a magic object before giving it to the sticker. In order to do so, we're going to use the image read function from the magic package. So we're going to create an object called pine image, and we're going to set it equals to image underscore read, and we're going to pass in the name of the file. So if we look at the structure of our pine image object, we're going to see that it is a magic image object. So now we can create our very first sticker. We're going to start off by loading in the sticker function, and we're going to pass in the subplot argument. And the subplot argument takes in an image or a ggplot object. In this case, we're using an image. So we're going to pass in the pine image. And then we're also going to load in our package parameter, and we're going to set that equals to pineapple. And that is going to be the name of the package displayed on our sticker. So we're going to go ahead and pipe this into a print function. And as we run it, we're going to see that we get our first hex sticker. Now, if we also run this, you're going to notice that it gets saved as a file. The file will be named based off of the package, followed by a PNG. Now, of course, this hex sticker does not look that great, but we are going to focus on making it great. So let's go ahead and start adjusting some things. I think we can adjust the size of the image. So let's go ahead and do so by passing in the S width function uh, s width parameter and setting it equals to one and then the s underscore height parameter and setting that equals to one so if we were to run that you're going to notice that our pineapple is much bigger right now we're going to also need to position this because we want to position the, the pineapple in the center so we're going to have to pass in the s underscore x parameter and set it equals to one and then we're going to set the s underscore y parameter and set it equals to 0.75 so if we run that, we're going to notice that we get it a bit more in the center. Okay, so now we can actually adjust the size of our text. I think it's a little bit too small. So we can do so by setting the P size parameter equals to, let's say we give it a size of 19. So we're going to notice that, yes, it fills it in and it's already looking a lot better. Okay, now we can actually fill in the hexagon. I don't necessarily like the blue color, so let's go ahead and change the color. So we're gonna do so by passing in the H fill parameter and setting it equals to gold. Now, of course, you can also pass in a hexadecimal value if you do have one. So that's gonna change it to a gold color. That looks already really nice. And then I wanna change the color of the border and I wanna give it a hot pink color. So I'm gonna set the H underscore color parameter equals to hot pink. So if I run that, we're going to have a hot pink color surrounding the hexagon. Now we can also adjust the size of our border. Now the border by default is a, a size of two. So we can access that by passing in the H underscore size and we can set it to a certain value. So if we set it, for example, to a higher value like three, uh, we're going to get a thicker border, but do keep in mind that it actually can cut off the edges. So it doesn't look very appealing, so make sure that you set the size to something appropriate. So we're gonna just set it to 1.75, and if we run that, it looks better. And if we load it in over here, 
uh, it looks it looks pretty good um, so that's that's going well okay maybe we can even bring it down to a 1.5 actually okay and let's see there we go I think that looks great okay next let's go into a URL now we can add our very own URL so we have this website that we're very proud of and we want to show it so we can actually add a URL to the sticker by passing in the URL parameter and setting it equals to a URL so we're gonna just type in www.pineapples2go.com so if we run it you're gonna see that it's very small so we need to give it a little bit of a size bump we can do though that by passing in the u underscore size parameter and setting it equal to something like five so if we set it to five it fits in very well so that's what we're going to use and now we want to change the color of it we can do so by passing in the u underscore color and setting that equals to i want to give it a violet red color all right so i think that looks great one of the other effects we can add is a spotlight effect to the sticker so this is a lighting effect that gets attached to the sticker and it gives it a really cool aesthetic feel to it so if we set the spotlight parameter equals to true and we run it you're going to see that it creates a light that's over here now of course we can adjust the size of this we can adjust the location of it and we can also adjust the strength of it so we're going to do so by passing in some parameters so we'll pass in the ly parameter which places our spotlight based on the y axis and we're going to set it equals to one then the one for the x axis and we're going to set it to one so if we were to run that we can already see that it moved a little bit upwards so that's great i'm also going to change the width of this spotlight to a three and also going to change the height of this spotlight to a three there we go it's moved also and then last but not least i'm going to adjust the alpha value which is the strength of the spotlight and i'm going to set it to 0 0.3 now, of course, the higher this value, the stronger your light is going to be. So if we set this, for example, to a 0.7, you're going to notice that it is a little bit stronger. So we do want to bring it back to a 0.3. Okay. Now we do want to change the font color of this package name, and that's something we forgot to do. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So P underscore color, and we're going to set that equals to purple. Whoops, purple. So if we run that, we're going to get a purple color okay this looks great one last thing that i wanted to show you how can we change the font type now this is the one where it you have to take a little few more steps in this case so this is where we're going to refer to the sys fonts package now first we need to see the fonts that we have access to in order to see that we're going to have to load in the font files function so if we were to run that we're going to get a data set of all the fonts that we have access to. So let's go ahead and store that in a data set. So I'm just gonna call that font underscore data set. And I'm gonna set it equals to font files. And if we open that up, we are going to see that we have all these fonts that we have access to. They are their names, we have the face, we have the family, and we have the file name. Now we're probably going to need the file name the most. So there's a really cool font that's in here called Old English. So let me see if I can scroll to it. Right here it is. So I'm gonna create I'm gonna take that file name, and this is the file name of that font. And I'm going to get ready to add it. Now the way to add a font is by simply using the font underscore add function you're gonna first pass in the name of the font now you can actually set this to whatever you want it doesn't have to be the exact same spelling so in this case I'm just gonna call it Old English but the second parameter is where you're going to have to pass in the name of the file so in this case this was the name of the file that we got from our data set so if we were to run this it runs just fine and now we can load it in we can load it in by simply passing in the P underscore family parameter and setting it equals to old English and if we were to run that we're gonna see that we have this new font and of course everything's being saved so now we have our saved logo right here and now we can start creating some advertisement maybe we can even make this a little bit bigger uh, font size wise for the package name so maybe I want to set it to a font size of 20 so again we can load that in it's a bigger font size 
And of course, you know, this is the package. So I hope you learned how to create a new hex sticker and maybe you can use your creativity whenever you're making your next package. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.